Public School. Uh, I am your science teacher. We are learning chapter 14, Natural Resources. Last time we already started uh, a water, a wonderful liquid. Now we already know a lot of things about water, right? Uh, we also have seen air, but uh, let us quickly see about water. Now we learn that uh, water can be available abundant on earth. But all water is not drinkable, means we cannot drink those water. Uh, we find water um, in terms of sea, but those are salty water. We cannot use that water for drinking purpose, neither we can use it for agriculture purpose. Right? Definitely it is one of the big source of fisheries. Now, so earth surface is found in seas and oceans and is saline. Saline means it is salty. Fresh waters are found only in the form of ice caps, which you can found on two poles on north, north, uh, on two poles and on snow-covered mountains. The underground water and the waters in river, lakes, and ponds are fresh water. Those are the waters we normally use for all the other purposes. Now, the availability of fresh water varies from place to place. So, practically every summer, most of the places have to face a shortage of water. If you know about Saurashtra. Right, they always have a shortage of water definitely during summer time. Uh, during monsoon time, they have a good rainfall, right? So, that purpose can be solved at that time, and that uh, water can be uh, useful to us during winter. But by the time the summer comes, the shortage of water becomes very curious. So, definitely, our India is an agriculture country, so it mainly depends upon water for sure because we required water for the agriculture purpose. Now practically, as what I said, in rural areas, water supply systems are there, so irrigation facilities and everything we have uh, seen. But why water is so necessary, as what we have already discussed, ke in our body, whether it is a, a human being or in animals, they have cellular processes. So we have a lot of cells in our body, right, we already seen that chapter, so those cells for the processes they require a water medium right they require water medium so timely timely we all know we will become thirsty we want to drink more water and all those things so all this reaction that takes place within our body within our cells required water as they get dissolved in water yes right so substances are transported from one place to another uh, right in our body that dissolve uh, through water hence organisms need to maintain the level of water within their bodies and this is required but as what you know the terrestrial life forms uh, bodies cannot tolerate to get rid of high amount of dissolved salt so definitely we cannot drink saline water if you take a lot of salt in your body your pressure get increased so not us the animals and plants and everywhere the one they cannot they cannot survive in a lot of saline water. So we require a fresh water to do this. That's why we call a water as a wonderful liquid. Now you know that on an average if you see uh, where we have good ample quantity, not ample, we have good quantity of rainfall. Uh, if you see those rainy regions are good survival because see uh, even plants and animals both require water. So if you think think a little that if any is there a region which receives only 5 cm of rainfall and if there is a region which required uh, which receives 200 cm of rainfall so you must be thinking that definitely 200 cm rainfall is more prosperous uh, the the lives will be more that has maximum biodiversity biodiversity in terms of uh, you can see many species of animals and plants over there but understand one thing right so availability of water not that's only not decide the species in some particular area but it also requires for following factors what are that a temperature and the nature of the soil so plants if you you must have seen that in um, in 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 uh, dense forest you see a lot of uh, different varieties of plants different uh, good healthy plants and all these things why do you see all those things over there 
the reason is the good rainfall the good temperature and the good nature of the soil so all these things matter matter yes all these things matter but you know water pollution we water we use so many substances in our life that really pollute our water a lot as what i said just now we are an agriculture country yes now nowadays we are doing a modern agriculture farming but guys think a little we use lot of fertilizers and pesticides in our farms right you don't use in your uh, small farm which you have in uh, next to your house but the one which are doing a big farming they definitely use a lot of fat fertilizers and pesticides now think those fertilizers those pesticides which were in the soil when the rains comes those fertilizers get carry away with the water now when those fertilizers go with the water it slowly dissolve into water that water goes to some small canal canal to river river to sea it is a big problem again we people not only that sewage water that's a waste water from our towns and cities and many of the factories which were banned still dump that into the rivers and lakes think a little how can a water body survive in such polluted water right so some industries also use water for cooling in a various operation right so hot water will come out they pass that water also so think what if a change in the temperature the now those hot water goes to river so the water get temperature of the water get change so there are many species of life that tend to live in a cold water now suddenly the temperature changes do you think those water bodies will survive no no see there are conditions some species live in little warm water some species live in deep inside that requires cold water see uh, our sea also it get the water get heated right so some species live in the upper layer of water some species live deep inside the water so those species for them they require cold water those species which live in the above and the and the upper layers of water those requires a warm water so some such water change change in a temperature in the water it is favorable for some favor it is not favorable for others right so all this affect the water bodies in various ways right it can harm some other life forms also this affects an unbalance right this unbalance what i was saying established in our system so the first thing as what i said the addition undesirable substances that goes into our water bodies like fertilizers pesticides they will be poisonous substance so one way if those poisonous substance will be eaten by our fishing our, our fishes and our marine marine animals definitely it is going to kill them second thing uh, mercury salts are used in a paper industry again that is also very uh, uh, dangerous for the water bodies and even there could be disease causing organisms like bacteria which cause cholera you know cholera happens when you drink such bacteria uh, water if you drink that water polluted water you can have a cholera so maximum time see uh, that is the reason um, you have lot of diseases during uh, uh, monsoon season right because lot of fungus is there atmosphere is not good and all now the removal of desirable substances from water bodies so people take some important plants water plants and animals right that create an imbalance in the water <clears throat> now what there are certain plants that dissolve oxygen yes they dissolve oxygen in a water and that oxygen is been taken by animals dissolve oxygens now if we kill those aquatic organisms or plants it is going to create an imbalance such change reduces the amount of dissolved oxygen and it will be this nutrients will be depleted the last is a change in the temperature as what i said 
the uh, if you put a hot water into the river right and all those things such a change will be dangerous for them right now how does that will be dangerous their breathing will be affected breeding right they breed and they grow in number now right the eggs and larva get uh, damage so because of that so basically the production of fisheries or aquatic plants and animals get reduced that ultimately affecting us okay so water a wonderful liquid as what i said we are polluted this in number of ways right so i hope you are getting this two concept a water a, a, a wonderful liquid how does it will become a wonderful liquid because our maximum life forms depends upon water and how does it get polluted now the next topic we are going to see is about soil and now after then once the soil get completed we are talking about certain cycles that how does the whole cycle get balanced right that how does uh, one take and other give uh, the very small example i give is uh, between human and the tree we inhale oxygen and give carbon dioxide the tree inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen this is how we both balance each other and the atmosphere in it if any of one proportion increases or decreases will create an imbalance and that create a lot of impact in our environment and to the human life okay so i hope you are getting what i'm trying to say right till then so i'll see you in the next time till then take care thank you so much bye